Okay, so, uh, quick thing before we start this video. If you, uh, follow me on DeviantArt, or you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm into 3D modeling. Um, and I use it for the thumbnails for some of the videos. Uh, what I'll do is I will get a model, I will either extract it or rip it, um... I will take it into my 3D software, or whatever that may be, and pose it and render it, and then we have a thumbnail. Um, for this game, Botology, um, <laughs> there's two models right here, and I thought, well, maybe I can use one of them for the render for the thumbnail. So I go into the game files with this marvelous program called UModel, and... <laughs> I go into the game files, and I think I found the models. There's, like, this folder called something WC, and it said, like, characters or something. So, I, you know, I thought I found the models. Uh, and when I open this, <laughs> when I open this, uh, this folder here, it gives, me, it gives me a model, but not the model that I, I, you would think. Um, it gives me a model, a porn model... For a game called Warcraft, which I assume is a porn parody of Warcraft. Now, <laughs> what this model is doing in the files of this game, <laughs> I have no idea. And if you have this game, you can verify this for yourself. This is... I mean, what that model has to do with this game, I have no fucking idea. But... <laughs> I just, I, I can't believe it. It's, it's something else. It's just something else. But without further ado, welcome to day seven of Summer of DX 2016. Today we're playing Botology. This game was gifted to me on Steam by Sean Hunter. So a very, very big thank you to them for that. And uh, the message they wrote me when they gifted me the game was, fuck this game. So I think we're in store for something really wonderful here. I can already tell by the music in the background that does not accurately represent what we're seeing on the screen right now. Um, and you know, I will say I did cheat a little. I played about like, I don't know, a few minutes of the game beforehand, but well, let's, let's just start a new game. Botology. Right, there's no narration, so I'm going to have to read everything. The only problem is that the text goes so fast, it's impossible to read it all before it's off the screen. I'll try, and I'll fail. Botology has been the largest company in the world for the past 18 years. Their recent work has said to be centuries ahead of its time. This new technology is called Quasi, an image. The technology enables the transformation of human cells. Some scientists rather call it the transference of consciousness. Engineers of the company are able to place the consciousness of a human being into the body of a... See... Because of its highly advanced nature, this technology is... Fuck, see, it's, it's so fucking ridiculous, and I, I said this, uh, I, or I thought this to myself when I was playing the game the first time. Why would you have narration? Why would you not have narration, and then have the text? It's, you know what, fuck this, we're not gonna read all this shit, fuck off. It's a bunch of bullshit that you don't even need to know anyways. Alright. Use the mouse to look around and turn to the desired direction. It's pretty standard controls. Uh, one thing I will say about this horrendous fucking piece of garbage is that... Look at this walking speed. Why would you even put a speed like this in the game? Why, instead of making the player press shift to sprint... This shitty-ass little sprint, by the way... Why not just have this option uh, by default? Why give us this walking option at all? 
Now, that does come from my bias against... Wait a minute. I thought this was a 3D little block in the, in the background here. That had me fooled until I actually went up to it. If you look at it from the right angle, <laughs> it does look like it's actually coming out of the wall. But anyways, yeah, I'm kind of biased. I hate shift to run, shift to sprint, shift to scratch my ass. Fuck that shit. Right, here we go with this shit. Uh, they are speaking a different language because... It's the future, we're on another planet, I don't fucking know, I don't care, I didn't read the synopsis of the plot, but they don't, they have narration technically, but it's in a different language. So what this forces you to do is read these huge fucking chunks of text, because you can't understand what they're saying, and it, the game forces you to read all this text instead of just listening to either narration or condensing it down. That's another problem we'll talk about uh, later with this game. But, <laughs> uh, this is, this is bad enough. Um, I'm not gonna read the narration. Or, I'm not gonna read the text. I'm just not gonna fucking do it. Will the evil devil of tech re in Elon Renes I will, uh, I will see the next, uh, talking sequence just because you guys need to hear what the fuck they're saying. I think, I honestly think it's like reverse English or some shit because there's no way it's a, it's a language that they actually made up because it sounds like gibberish. The first time I played this uh, without recording, one of these models, see their their pathfinding is fucked up. Like they will just go and stand around or not do anything, or they will just freeze and then go in the opposite direction. Uh, this game is running on Unreal Engine 4. That's something I want to bring up, or at least I think it's Unreal Engine 4. Because of the post-processing options that every time you move the screen, the motion blur makes it look like you've smothered Vaseline on the fucking screen. I love Unreal Engine 4, but that's a serious problem. And so is the anti-aliasing. Uh, in Batology, most mechanisms are interacted with using the trigger. Some triggers, like this one, don't require keys to activate. Some will require keys of certain color. Color of a key can be determined by the description and the color of the trigger. To activate a trigger, stand close to it and press E. Otherwise... Okay. Please, please just fuck off. And it may seem like I'm being harsh on this game, but you will see uh, the treachery. I mean, just look at this walking. This... Looks like he's fucking, like, he's got a stick up his ass, and someone beneath the camera is moving him with the stick. And I haven't even gotten to, like, how ridiculous the running is once you actually enter one of these droid things. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just a bunch of people standing around here, and there's one person waiting over there. Sorry to butt into this conversation. Yeah, this is awful. We're actually going to listen to this entire conversation. Your year spoofy Niederbund will be Ingerwer and Reensinks. <laughs> Hello, my name is David. I was recently accepted to the Pathology Company's trainee program. Master Poster Derriser Gertas Derup Sender. I was instructed to come here to the Salazari base. By the way... I thought I was going crazy, but I wasn't. Uh, the way they spell the word Salazari here is different than how they spell it in the opening intro. In the opening intro, that's redundant. But the, it's different than how they spell it in the intro and how they later spell it in some bullshit tutorial that's like three or four minutes long. I don't know. I don't know what the what happened here. Maybe this was in another language and then they Google translated it. But they spelled it wrong. I thought I was going crazy, but no, they, they just fucked up. No poster Mifridus Aqua poster Mysterious. No poster Opera Legus Minus. That sounds like German. Um, but there's a couple things wrong with this here. Uh, number one, the... You know what? I hadn't thought of this until now, but this is... What they use for the voice acting is probably text-to-speech. And then it sounds like they got a female default 
and then they lowered the pitch and then reversed what she was saying. That's that's my best guess. Um, also, if you look at this shot right now, this is fucking horrible shot composition. You know, I'm not some fucking Artur or anything, but when you've got as much dead space over their fucking heads as you do, I don't think you know how to position the camera. That's just me. Most excellent, David. My name is Linda. I'm the chief specialist of the Salazari base. I'm very glad they finally sent us someone with a higher engineering degree. We don't get many like you these days. Yao Sir Cantor ill think of a Velderville. Yes, I finished with honors, and I'm very excited about this opportunity to put my skills into test. You are your spliff and eater bin will the Inger were in rain sinks. Okay. Which Yao Sir Ab as Yao Sir Velderville Cantor ill think a mentron and be toin. Velderville Cantor ill think a mentron and be toin. You know, and I don't have a problem with reading. Uh, some of my favorite games have a lot of text that you have to read and there's no narration. But, and I'll try to put my finger on this later, but there's a reason this doesn't work and it works in a lot of other games. Uh, I'm not going to read this Third shit. Mega Velvla scene. Bring the report back to me and we'll discuss further assignments. Acla poster Mysterious Mifferdis. Opera Legus Minus New Poster. All right. I mean, just look at how he walks. It's so awful. And look at that sprint, that pathetic ass sprint. Ugh. Ugh. All right, we gotta go into the elevator. We have to batology now. David, Gortezder up. Gortezder Terlinda. Which Yalser of Eshalser Velderville? I forgot to mention that in Sector Zero, you will work as a quasi, an experimental image robot. It's how we combine business with pleasure by testing the robots while performing mundane, everyday routines. Fair Mega Veldless Separate Scene. All right, forty business hours. Okay. Yalser Cantor, ill think of a Velderville. <sighs> In Elon Retoretti, the NESSC. Yalser Cantor, ill think of a Velderville as a Mintron and be toying with Yalser. <laughs> I seriously doubt everything that they said amounts to three words in our language. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's get in. Okay. Right, they couldn't just transport you to where you actually had to go. There has to be a sequence where you walk. Although... You know, I think I'm in the wrong here because this might actually lead to more than one part of the game or the map. By the way, I have no idea how long this game is. There's no fucking way I'm playing all of it if it's longer than, I don't know, two hours. Um, because there are games, there are bad games that I go back to and maybe try to finish sometimes. But if they're just so bad like this is, um, I, it's not happening. All right, let us do the pathology. Let us engage in quasi an image. We have become quasi an image. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> I love this so much because the ambient noise from within this elevator is so loud that you can't hear the voice acting. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on. Now let's get ready for the uh, fucking 15 minute tutorial here. 
This is Sector Zero calling Control Center. Can anybody hear me? Master Poster Derriser Gertaz Gerup Sender. Tecria Renil and Anesin Tord, the Witch Yalfa. Ralagene Feridu as Velvless. Ralagene Feridu as Velvle. Seplan Arisal of E. in E. Lin Ferd. This music does not fit what's going on at all, just like in the first stage. Music, uh, choice of music is absolutely terrible. And let's see this guy run, because this is, this is the greatest fucking thing. Like, he cannot actually do any other thing. <laughs> Oh my god. And th that's another thing. Fuck this piece of shit for programming in a walking speed that's horrible, making shift to sprint, and then having the audacity to give us a fucking stamina meter like that. It's... Who designed this, man? It's like, who designs all these fucking awful games that come onto Steam? Fuck. Have you ever played a good game? Because it's not hard to copy. Jesus. Fuck. Okay, we don't need to do this, but th I swear to God, this tutorial was like 10 minutes long. Uh, if I remember correctly, yeah. Um, for some reason, the right mouse button does absolutely nothing. To get into combat mode, you have to press tab. And then, you know, you, you get your piece of shit gun that... I, I guess the explosions look pretty because it's Unreal Engine 4, but... That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's so standard. And then you have a zoom... Um, but it, it's just nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Um, you know what? I'm going to show you guys a tutorial because this is unbelievable. Uh, I, I've complained about this game having, quote, narration in the form of, uh, alien dialect. And then shoehorning in, like, 15 blocks of text. And this is, this is the biggest example we're just gonna we're gonna skip through this and and we're gonna see how much text there is techry in elon renet techry in elon you're your split wolf and eater been fared mega valveless akla poster mysterious sipling or resel of or walker mega separate into ready which you can techry y'all sir canter ill think of your your split and eater been will the ink were and resel fared mega valveless separate scene um, I have played visual novels with less text, and the thing is, this tutorial tells us a bunch of shit that we already know, like how to access things, like how to access the wall chest and shit like that. Um, give me a second because I have to. We have to. We have to form something to get to the other room, but um, it tells us how to open things and how to open doors like that. It's shit that we've already been told. And for some reason, it feels like reiterating some of that stuff. Uh, Plasma PRD201. Um, okay, this is a shop here. Let's get an empty capsule. Let's let's buy this. Uh, light blue plasma. All right. Come on. Ugh, fuck. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So, this has a crafting system, which is explained awfully. And uh, it's just, it's god-awful. It's, uh, fuck. Okay, see, here's, a, here's another thing. If you press Q, it takes you to the main menu. Q. And then you have to press Control. Alright. So... One of these doors should be opening, or something should be opening. Hold on. Is it this one? No. Although there is a wall chest here, so I should probably look in into it. Uh, plasma PRD 201. Let's just take all of it. And there we go with the sprint again. The sprint is done. This is this is so fucking awful. All right.
All right, so I, I realize what I'm supposed to be doing now. Uh, this is very stupid. What we're supposed to be doing is uh, creating these keys. Yeah, okay, I get what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, we're supposed to be doing... Uh, wow. This droid looks awful. He looks like a fucking gorilla. Um, we have to create keys to open plasma... Who the fuck cares? And we have to craft things, so in this case we have to create plasma PBL201. And what you would do is go into the inventory and, uh, let's see if we have the formula... Or the recipe, I guess. No, we don't. So, what we have to do is come over here. <clears throat> Although, the sprint gave out because we have no stamina, which is... So, the game seriously forces you to walk all this fucking way. What a piece of shit. Uh, was it... I just forgot the goddamn formula. I think it's Plasma PLB201. Let's hope it is. Uh, what does this consist of? It consists of, uh, an empty capsule and light blue plasma. So we would buy light blue plasma and we don't have an empty capsule, so let's buy one. And now let's exit the inventory from the shop and open our inventory. And we crafted plasma PLB 201. Alright, now what we have to do here is run, run at the speed of light! And we have to... Oh, shit. You know what? I think I just crafted the wrong fucking formula. PLB, PBL. Yeah, I just crafted the wrong... Fantastic. Fantastic. I've outdone myself. Although, look, I was clearly in the wrong here because I committed that mistake of creating the wrong one because I wasn't paying attention, but... If you're creating a game like this and you have all these fucking numbers because you have no narration because you have no budget... It, it would, you know, it, I don't think it's it's complex that you would try to not name things that look similar. Now we have to buy this, and we have to buy this, and this. Okay, we just got multiple achievements because we bought stuff and, and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> now let's, uh, let's create this. And now we have a pa a Plasma PBL 201, not PLB. All right, let's go over here. Let's do it. And he can't even—he can't even run from from uh, trigger to trigger, which is incredible. All right, now we have that, and now we have another plasma unlock here. So what should be happening is we have unlocked. Yeah, okay. Now, fuck! I accidentally pressed Q. That's another thing. Q is right next to tab. Q opens the main menu, and Tab opens the combat mode. Why right-click doesn't just put you in the fucking combat mode, I will never understand. Continue. Okay. Alright, let's do this shit. This, uh, one of these should be open. Yeah. Alright, we have to kill one of the droids now. Okay, the droid must be defeated. Why did it take me out of combat mode? Yeah, suck on this! Alright, we gotta reload. We've reloaded. Is it even gonna fire back? Is it gonna do anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I've just emptied about two clips into this thing, or two, I don't know, mag plasma cartridges, let's say. And now it's done. Now it's dead. Alright, we got an empty capsule. And I just got an achievement. <laughs> Fucking audacity. I just got an achievement called First Blood. Alright, let's get into this wall chest here. Let's take all this stuff. Now, where's the next key? Look, the fucker's out of stamina already! Plasma. Okay, now we. Yes! Yes! Our time to shine! Because we already crafted PLB-201. Yes! Now... Right, let me see if there's another droid we gotta take care of. The thing is, he strafes. He's, he's capable of strafing. It's weird because these controls feel like... First-person shooter controls. But it's a third-person game. It's... <laughs> 
God damn it, I pressed Q again. Okay, PYL201. PYL201. Do we have that? No, probably not. PLY201. PYL. This this is ridiculous. This is PYL and this is P Okay, no, we've already no, we haven't constructed it. But we can. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, awesome. I can't believe that this is what they're having you do for the, the first mission of the game. Like, this is this is absurd. Um, all right, now we've crafted another one of these. Let's go into combat mode again and see what's over here. Or, well, what's over here. It's all personnel in Sector Zero. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Look at the robot. It's like clipping through the fucking wall. The droids have turned hostile towards everyone. Keep away from the droids. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Wait a minute, what the fuck? My health is going down. Am I being attacked? <laughs> oh my god. I was being attacked during the cutscene. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. And now this is going to take a full fucking... Wow. This is going to take three magazines of this shit. The robot just... The AI is horrible. Look at how horrible the AI is. It just, it just... It stuck itself into fucking... Wow. Now here's something that... Okay, there's health regen in this game. But I think the plasma can also help you regen. Just let, let's see. Hold on. Uh... Upgraded properties. Health regeneration. So if we have... No, we can't craft this. Uh, PRG. Okay, so I think we can craft this. Okay, we can. PGR. Okay, and I'm using that. So I have uh, faster regen now, I think. Or something like that. It's supposed to go like that. I don't know if it actually will. And there's the fucking stamina meter again. What the fuck? Oh, well, I got that first person shooter I was asking for. Let's do this shit. And I'm out of ammo. And the AI is so terrible that it's not even turning around. What is life? What is life? Oh, shit. Let's do a little run and gun. <laughs> this is so fucking garbage. It's so fucking awful. Oh, my God. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, okay. The guy was like... <laughs> the guy was like he clutched his knee he's like oh my knee and then he, he dropped dead oh my goodness all right is this thing still over here no and we have to go through here <laughs> fuck off motherfucker drop dead motherfucker you fucking amateur oh shit i gotta I got bullets for every one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> it's so fucking garbage. I can't move. I can't move. It w <laughs> and I love how he just gets up. Like, <laughs> how it's like, oh, everything's absolutely fine. Oh, shit, I've opened the steam overlay. Hold on. So that's another thing. If you're sprinting using shift and you open the combat mode using tab, you can legit just open the steam overlay. <laughs> and you're gonna get attacked. Come on, motherfuckers. I got bullets for every one of those motherfuckers. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> AI is so bad. AI is so broken. Wait a minute, was that the first mission? Did we just complete the first mission? I think we might have. Uh, PBL201. Do we have that? PBL201. PBL201. We can make it, though. I think we can make it. Yes! Yes! We did it! <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. We did it! 
Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and now we have to do more of this? Are you fucking out of your mind? Yeah, right. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done playing this shit. If, if this is the entire game? Oh, man. I'm not going to find out because I'm done playing this. Uh, if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> a very big thank you once again to Sean Hunter who gifted me this game on Steam. If you'd like to gift me bullshit on Steam, you're more than welcome to. It all goes for a good cause, and um, you guys you guys get the videos because we have more Summer of DX 2016 content coming out tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be really good. Tomorrow's is going to be really, really fucking good because I know exactly what game I'm playing tomorrow. Um, one more thing. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, I will put the Patreon link in the description. Uh, thank you very much to my existing Patreon supporters. Um, the Patreon funds that I've been getting to make more content are coming in and you guys will be seeing content content that has been entirely funded by Patreon soon. So a very big thank you goes out to them and everyone watching. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for more Summer of 619 con or Summer of 619. I, I knew I was going to trip up and say that one day. Uh, summer of DX 2016. And let's go out in a hail of plasma bullets. Fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Bring the noise, bitch. <laughs> oh, my knee.